All right, back again. Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about the SNK Neo Geo CD controller. Now the reason why I decided to make this video here is because I received an email from uh, Alec John and uh, he was asking about the, the CD controller and uh, about the joystick here, uh, whether it's a real kind of uh, mini joystick or if it's a directional pad or what. So today I kind of want to answer some of those questions and uh, show you some good points and bad points about this uh, controller as well. And uh, we'll open it up and take a look at it together uh, and uh, see what makes this thing tick. First of all, um, with the joystick question, this is an actual joystick. It's like a mini joystick. Um, much like the arcades uh, that use small switches on the inside of their joysticks, uh, this uses the same kind of concept. As well as if you've ever had a Neo Geo Pocket, or if you've ever played a Neo Geo Pocket, same kind of idea here. Um, when you move this, you can hear it clicks. Uh, the reason why it clicks is there's four switches um, inside uh, this controller here and each time you press down or up on it there's a, a plastic piece that pushes in on the switch and then uh, with a spring attached to it pushes back so it's just kind of like a, a piece of metal like if you were to take a piece of aluminum and bend it forward and then uh, bend it back. Uh, all it is is just a really thin piece of metal making contact with another piece of metal and just uh, continuously flexing back and forth. Um, I'll take this thing apart so you can see more of that. But um, yeah, it's like a mini joystick here. Uh, in order to get this thing open, uh, what you need to do is you have to pop this top off first, which can be a little bit of a pain. Uh, now, I've already taken the screws out of this, and uh, I've already taken this top off, uh, so it's not going to come off this easy. Don't expect it to. Uh, you probably have to press um, or push something underneath here, like a flathead screwdriver or uh, something very thin that you can use to pry up on it. But you got to make sure that you apply equal pressure. Don't try and do this in just one shot. You know, put it under here and then pull up and think that you're going to get this thing to pop off. Because probably the the situation that you're going to wind up with is uh, this shaft here just snapping on you. Uh, because this thing is made out of plastic too, you got to watch uh, how much of an angle you put this on. You put this uh, this on when you decide to pop it off. Because if you angle it too much, you'll just snap this thing in half and have to glue it back on. Um, it's not a total loss if you break it, but you know you probably just want to avoid breaking it if possible. But you get that piece off, and then uh, on the back here, uh, it's just got you know one, two, three, four, five screws. Pop the screws off, and we're gonna kind of tilt this thing upside down here because I don't want the buttons to go flying out. And your cover will come off, and you can take a look at uh, your joystick here. Now, here are the switches, uh, the blue ones, and uh, they're all kind of concealed in this uh, plastic case here. And then the joystick pops out like this. Um, what, you, what you can do here is, uh, if you have a flathead screwdriver, you can just, uh, you know, there's four tabs. There's one here, one here, um, one on this corner here, and one down at the bottom. Normally, when you get those tabs off, you should be able to pop this cover off and here's what we're looking at as far as the Neo Geo CD controller goes uh, like I said here are the four switches and uh, it's just a piece of metal and another piece of metal you know like two metal tabs uh, in here and uh, the one tab just flexes on the inside it makes contact goes back makes contact goes back due to these springs pushing it back there's these plastic uh, little levers here uh, that you can probably see and then, you know, when you push left or right, it uh, goes in and then comes back out. So, this is what makes this thing tick. Um, nothing too special, uh, but it, it's an interesting concept. The bad point about this is that um, with a lot of the fighters, uh, Neo Geo had a lot of fighters, and with these joysticks, if you can imagine taking a piece of metal, like even taking the tab off of a, a pen, you know, and bending it back and forth, back and forth really quickly, what you're going to do is you're going to create um, a lot of weakness in the metal, and the metal is going to eventually break from too much flexing. So the same thing happens with these switches here too. Um, over time, uh, just like 
the, the, the constant clicking back and forth, back and forth, um, will wear out the inside of these switches, and you'll be left with maybe the um, the directional pad will go up and down, but uh, left and right will be uh, really bad. It won't go left, it won't go right, or you really have to ream on it, and it won't click, but it'll somewhat move. The uh, reason for that is just, you know, just too much clicking, and... Um, the uh, the pads wind up sticking together or breaking uh, the contact points on the inside so that's uh, one of the downfalls but the way that you can rectify the situation is with these switches here uh, you can probably go down to your local um, like Radio Shack or something like that and pick up a switch uh, it's not that expensive these things probably cost you know I don't know a, a dollar or something a piece probably maybe even less than that but uh, just two contact points on them, you can desolder them and solder in the new uh, switch and be back to playing. So they're not totally uh, hopeless if you get a bad controller. They can be salvaged, but uh, you just got to find the right, uh, the right switches for them. And uh, yeah, over here you got your um, uh, space for your buttons and then start and select. And then here with a regular D-pad, you normally have like this rubber pad here that makes contact using the, the small circles on the back here with the contact points on the board. So this is the difference, main difference between a regular D-pad and a joystick like this. Is Whereas this one actually has the uh, different switches popping out of the board, regular D-pad doesn't. It has everything integrated into the circuit and all you're doing is completing the circuit by pressing down. Um, I think these pads are made out of some sort of... Um, metallic uh, uh, composite or something like that that when you press down here it connects the circuit whereas these ones you're actually you know clicking in on two pieces of metal um, making the circuit uh, complete but that's it that's what uh, that's what makes this thing work and uh, there's not a whole lot uh, else that I can tell you about this um, this controller here except for you know if you're going to take these things apart like I said make sure that when you pull this top part off um, you want to be very careful when you go to pull this off it's not going to come off easy so if you go to press something underneath here and you put too much of an angle on it what you're going to do is snap this shaft off and then you know you're going to have to take the cap off pull the piece out or put everything back together put some super glue or some sort of um, uh, epoxy on it and glue it back on there which means when you go to take it apart again if you ever have to take it apart to clean anything or if something gets in the, gets in the buttons you probably got to break it back off again so just be careful when you go to take this thing off and uh, you should be all set other than that um, trying to put these uh, pieces back in <laughs> can be a little bit tricky because each of these things are uh, individual, it doesn't come out as a cage unit. Um, the insides are just you know, a small little uh, triangular shaped tab here with a spring on the end of them. So when you pop one off and you pop them all off, you just kind of left with um, these pieces everywhere. The springs come off and uh, you know trying to fit it back in, it's, uh, it's a little bit challenging, but uh, not impossible. So hopefully that'll answer some questions about the Neo Geo CD controller. And uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to uh, email me and I'll try to answer those as well. But uh, like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching.